You are listening to the Pleasant Spirit Podcast with your host, licensed massage therapist, Kyle Pleasant. Here, we will be discussing topics on health and wellness, as well as self-improvement and his experiences as a legally blind massage therapist. And now, here's your host, Kyle. And hello, and welcome to the Pleasant Spirit Podcast. I'm your host, Kyle Pleasant, the licensed massage therapist out in Gresham. How nice. (laughs) So today, I'm going to talk about a little bit about uh, point of view or um, perspective. Um, So, as many people know, I... Uh, a long time ago, I used to uh, hike the Appalachian Trail, and um, you know, for a lot of us, um, getting out in nature is is really nice, and and we well, we like to uh, get out there and see the flowers, and sometimes just get a chance to to meditate and um, be alone with our thoughts. And uh, I highly recommend. Um, making getting outside and getting those 10,000 steps a um, regular part of your uh, routine because just you know it's just really nice to just get out and ground yourself and kind of get your mind quiet so any if you have a chance definitely get out there and uh, take a walk in your neighborhood if if you can but really um some some people are not you know so crazy about getting outside all the time you know uh but I wanted to um, say that, let's say you and I uh, went on a hike together and we spent the day, you know, uh, climbing up the side of a mountain. Well, you know, for me, getting out and exercising and getting up there on the top of that mountain and you and I sit down on a nice rock and, and watch the sunset. Well, you might have not really enjoyed the experience of the day and and we're both sitting down on that rock and we're both looking at this sunset and to me I'm, you know feeling at peace and, and uh, grounded and, and I look at that sunset to, and say how blessed that I am and how beautiful that sunset might be and uh, the other person might sit up there and they're looking at that sunset going man this was a crappy day and uh, you know that's the sun is hurting my eyes and, and look at all that pollution uh, that's making that sun the, the particular color that it is or whatever you know we're both looking at the same sunset but our perception of the moment uh, may be different and uh, and that you know that pers- that perspective or those those viewpoints or whatever are are normal because we're all humans and we're all seeing the world from a different vantage point in you know different mindsets and different different eyes or whatever and that goes along with uh you know the problems of the world and um how we view our day and how we view our relationships with other people you know a relationship that i have with god or the relationship that i have with my wife um, may be different from somebody else. They have a different relationship with God, or they may have a different relationship with with Kelsey or or my family or friends or, or whatever that I do. I mean, because it's all a matter of you know a, a relationship, you know. And we come to those we come to those relationships and those problems with our own biases and our own um, history and our own you know viewpoints and that's a b- both blessing and a curse i guess but um it's the fact that you know we live in such a creative universe here and we're all put on this earth for a purpose but it's part of that creative process to have those different pers- perspectives and that but bo- and that works both um internal or externally and internally you know um i may uh, get up there one day and i'm looking at that sunset and seeing how wonderful and beautiful and, and and magnificent and blessed i am for seeing it 
and then you know, get down on that mountain, have a crappy day at work, or get stuck in traffic, and have a fight with my wife, and the next day go up there and look at that sunset and then com- have a completely different viewpoints. And it's true that, you know, our thoughts create a reality, but our environment and our emotions, you know, helps shape that reality as well. And uh, so even even you can have a different perspective or a different viewpoint uh, looking at the same looking at the same problem, looking at the same thing and um, having, you know, our emotional state may alter that alter that viewpoint so there's things about being mindful that that help um there's a line that uh, albert einstein says that you can't solve a problem with the same mind that created it and so if you're having a problem and you're in one particular mindset uh it makes it much more difficult to uh, solve that problem with that same mindset you know and that goes for a lot of things and I just want to take that moment that, um, to, for me and in, in my life, when, uh, you know, I, I believe that I'm, I'm a pretty objective person and I've tried to use that objectivity whenever it comes to seeing somebody else's point of view. And I always put it in, in perspective that when, If you picture yourself on stage and you're in a debate, like there's a debate club where they give you a hand you a little card and they tell you to, we're going to talk about such and such subject and you're going to take the pro side or you're going to take the con side. And so you have to be objective enough to be able to debate or, you know, present that argument um, based on the pro or the con. And, you know, it, that can go with, you know, just talking about, you know, daily, you know, dealing with relationships or dealing with uh, problems in life is if you're able to take both the pro and the con about any given subject, then that makes you a little bit more objective. And so if there's a particular belief that you hold, you know, in your own life, in your own perspective, and you're able to not only hold your belief, but see that problem or that situation from the other side of it. And you're able to, you know, argue within yourself, debate within yourself, that other person's argument or that perception or perspective, I guess, um, then, then, and still hold your belief, then at least you have a well-rounded, um, viewpoint on any given subject and so i invite everybody out there to be able to you know take the other person's point of view don't it doesn't mean you have to believe in that particular point of view it just means that if you're having difficulties with dealing with someone or dealing with a particular problem to take it from that other point of view and as i say you know we live uh there's a line from uh St. Francis of Assisi that says it to understand the prayer of St. Francis that if it's to seek to understand as to be understood and there's like I say there's no shortage of creativity in the world and we all are going to come to our problems and viewpoints and situations with that our own viewpoint and that's what we should do um and when we do that and we're able to see it from somebody else's perspective and we bring to the problem our create creativity and our our own viewpoint then we're gonna have better communication and we're gonna have a, a little bit more harmony in the world because you know we we're gonna bring bring forth our problems and our disagreements and our biases with our own creative perspective and we come if we all come together um and communicate because the goal of communication is to be understood as well as to understand and if we do that then we're going to create a wonderful world that works for everyone because we're able to 
collaborate together as humans with our own unique perspective. And so with that, um, thank you for listening and, and, and seeing my viewpoint. And I hope that you, if you have a particular viewpoint as well, to reach out to me at podcast at pleasantspirit.com or use the little voicemail feature down there. If you have any show ideas or comments or anything like that, um, be sure to um, drop me a line. And as always, be sure to share this and follow me and all that stuff. And uh, until next time, I be well and have a pleasant day. Thank you for listening to the Pleasant Spirit Podcast. We hope you found today's show informative. Please take a moment to write a review. And if you want to reach out or have show ideas, you can email at podcast at pleasantspirit.com. You can also visit his website at pleasantspirit.com. If you are in the Portland, Oregon area, you can schedule a massage or one of his coaching services at pleasanttouchmassage.com. See you next time, and always be well.